Good morning, everybody. Today, I want to give you all something that God has just revealed to me. And the question that I had in my head was, if God knew that certain people were going to go to hell, why did he create them in the first place? And the Lord has revealed to me that we were already supposed to be created even before the fall happened, even before Adam and Eve decided not to um, obey God. They decided to disobey God. We were all supposed to be created. We were all handpicked by God. And he is still giving us a free choice. He loves us so much that he, he, he wants us to live. He has given us so many years to live. I mean, we are blessed to see a new day every single day. And he said, you know what? I'm, you're you're going to be created anyway because I, I love you. I'm creating you because I love you. And that's why when babies come out, babies are so innocent when they come out of their mother's womb because God created a good thing. He created innocent beings. And now when we when we grow older, it's up to us. It's up to us to choose if we want to remain in our innocence in Christ, if we want to remain humble, if we want to remain holy and set apart, it's up to us. And man, it's like he loves us so much. He, all he wants to do is, is just bless us with an abundance of life. And he's given us so many years to live. I mean, even 10 years is a long time. And, you know, we consider that young, you know, when we look at a 10-year-old child, we think, oh, you're young. But 10 years is a long time. That's a lot of days. So imagine that times five. Imagine that times eight. Like, that is a long time. I mean, we wake up, we go to sleep. Wake up, go to sleep. Wake up. Every single day, God has created a new day. Sun, sun rises, and then nighttime sun night sun like day night day night every single day that is love e i mean the sun rises on the evil people and the good people like we are so loved by god and all he wants us to do is be blessed all he wants us to do is just love him but how are we going to how are we going to live that life how are we going to live that abundant life if we choose to disobey him? If we choose to be disobedient? Like, if we don't even read the Bible, if we don't even go to church, the right church, not just any church, <laughs> but the church that preaches sound doctrine, the church that doesn't um, talk about racism, that doesn't talk about um, a skin color, but just embraces all races because the kingdom of God is diverse. I mean, if we can't do the simple things like that, how do we expect God to bless us with the desires of our heart? How do we expect God to do that? Man, whew, Jesus. So the reason why God has created us is because he loves us. He wants us to experience him. The fullness of him. We are created to glorify God. We are created to worship him. We are not created to worship other human beings. We are not created to worship other idols. We're not created to worship wood and statues and all these movements that's going on in the world. We're not, we're, we're not created to worship those things. We're not created to worship ourselves. We're created to worship and glorify Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And 
At that name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. So I just hope that this message will just reach so many people's hearts that we will all just wake up and just surrender to God. Just surrender our lives to him and experience the fullness of his blessings. I mean, he just wants to bless us so much, but but just to just to have a desire, I just pray that that we all will have a desire, a deeper desire to be in his presence, um, to take it to the next level with him. No matter where we are in our lives, we all need to take it to the next level with God because um, the time is running short and people are dying like left and right. But God is still good. He's still good. And he's he's calling us to repentance. He's calling us to repentance. He wants us to repent and turn from our wicked ways and follow him. Follow Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by him. Repent and turn to him. And he will show you the way to life. True life. He will show you the way. Jesus is the way. And he will direct your paths. Um, so that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, <laughs> for allowing me to, to speak this message. And I thank you all for listening. Um, and I pray that you all will be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.